All right, welcome to another micro Oliver video. In this video, we're going to go over on how to add a cursor to our skill form so we can actually see what we're doing in a game, so we can actually click the button, so we can actually see the camera move, because it's really hard to click the buttons without a cursor. It's kind of hard because the cursor just isn't there. So in order to uh, add a cursor, let's go ahead and I'm going to go to Google. It's like this. I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to go cursor, and I'm going to go to images. And I'm just going to pick a random cursor. I like this uh, this arrow going on here. Go ahead and uh, take this full size arrow. Let me copy. I'm going to open up Photoshop. There's my logo, kind of. I need a new logo. And paste. Now I want to crop out. Oh, why is this black? I want to invert this. Adjustments invert. Cool. You know what? I like that black. You know. Okay, anyways, so I want to go ahead and I want to take the my eraser tool. Sorry, my computer's lagging a little bit because I'm rendering videos on the last video at the same time. Go ahead and erase these arrows. That's cool. Then I want to take the uh, the marquee selection here, and I'm going to select our arrow. Then I'm going to image crop, just like that. Then I'm going to. I'm going to take the magic wand here, and I want to click this white, and I want to delete it. That way, the background the arrow is transparent. If I delete my background layer in Photoshop, it should be transparent. All right, so I want to go ahead and I want to change this to white, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and control click my thumbnail and fill it with a white color. You can do that by having white as your foreground color and hitting Alt Backspace. Or if you if it's your but you can fill it with their background color as control backspace. So with that there, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new blending option, and I'm gonna go stroke, and I'm gonna go and add a black stroke around my entire arrow. That's good, and that's cool. So. Do I need a drop shadow? No, I don't need a drop shadow. Drop shadows are overused. Alright, so, that said, I'm going to now take my image, and I want to image size, and I have to make this a power 2. So, I need this to be relatively small, too. So, I'm going to go with this 64, and height is 128. By unchecking constraint proportions, I can stretch that out. There, now we have a cursor. Top of it gets kind of cut off. That's not cool. Let's go ahead and scale this down just a little bit there and now we have a cursor and I want to move this so the points like on the top left just to make things easier I want to scale this down the way it all fits hit up hit the check mark there now I have a cursor so now I can go ahead and go file save as now when you say when you make images for your scale form you want you have to do it in a specific way you have to go to your UDK folder and wherever you made your, let's go to, oh, wherever you made your main menu flash file, right, right now it's in my Alifor, but you can't see it because it's in Photoshop. Uh, you have to create a new folder with the same name as your flash document. And when, once you've done that, you have to save it as a PNG, always PNG. I'm going to name this cursor. Hit none. All right, now in flash, we can go to library and go file, import to library. It's going to take a little bit, maybe. Depends on your computer. Depends on what else you're doing in the background. And it should pop up anytime now. Prepare any import. Why do you have to prepare the import? Come on, Flash. We can do it. We can do it. I believe in. There we go. Cool. So, now we can go to our D drive. We can go to. Or, I mean, not our D drive, but. Wherever you install the EA, go to development, flash, malware, and see this is where we saved our main menu. It should be a folder here now. It's cursor.png. Cool. So on the right, I'll show up as symbol 8 or whatever. You can go ahead and delete the symbol actually, but you'll have a cursor PNG. First thing we gotta do is we gotta go to properties, then we gotta go to make sure lossless PNG is set for compression, not JPEG or not photo. Make sure it's as lossless, and allow smoothing allows it to be scaled. So put a lot of smoothing on, and put export for ActionScript has to be able to export 
and then take out the dot png scale form does not like dots in the identifier name in fact uh, no one does so keep that there and hit ok well now you have this cursor png go ahead and drag that to the stage anywhere drag it to the stage that has a big cursor so i'm gonna go ahead and use the transform tool which is the third button down on the toolbox here and i'm gonna scale this down that, that's that's a cool cursor i guess a little big but yeah, that works now i want to click the cursor and i'm gonna hit f8 and f8 does what's called convert to symbol symbols are things kind of like components they're just little instances of things in your library that you can move and manipulate and do whatever and i want to change type to movie clip movie clip is something we can animate and code and do other things so uh we don't need to export this fraction should we just need to click ok here now on the top right where it says instance name, I'm going to name this cursor underscore mc. Giving an instance name allows us to access it via code in ActionScript, so we need to do that. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I accidentally put this cursor on my actions layer. As you can see, the actions layer does not have a, right, a white rectangle now in the background. That means something on it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I want to make a new layer, put it under actions layer. I want to call this layer the cursor layer. I'm going to call this layer 1 menu stuff so while on the cursor frame i'm gonna hit paste and there we go there's our there's our cursor right now on our actions layer i'm gonna hit f or f9 or going to your window actions there and somewhere i want to say right above this function here i'm gonna go start drag and then target target is the clip that we want to use so i'm gonna just type in what was it Cursor underscore MC. I'm not sure if you use parentheses there or not. Let me uh, check some reference code. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. So lock center. I want to do true. Why not? Okay. I'm going to hit that. And so we go. Start drag cursor true. Cool. So now I'm going to hit test. And hey, look at that. Our cursor is following us. That's cool. And the yeah, the little tip on the cursor, that's what we're pointing to. So once we're done that, we can go ahead and close this. We can hit save. And uh, we can publish this. We can open up UDK. We can go to our content browser. We can re-import this. Huh. Failed. Development flash LR main menu cursor.png. Okay, we're missing. Okay, where is that file then? So I want to pause this, and I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to tell you what I fixed. Okay, it turns out that my cursor file was in grayscale mode. So let's go ahead and go to image mode and change it to RGB. And now we can hit save. And we can just overwrite the uh, the PNG file here. Hit save. Hit none. Alright, now in flash, we can... Actually, that's uh, we can click right-click the cursor PNG in the, in the library, click update or oops click update and then click update again hit close there you go file save and then hit publish and now we can go to udk here go to our content browser we can re-import this and our cursor will pop up in our library that's kind of cool right so now we can save our package and there's our cursor awesome and now we can actually see what we're doing so now we can click settings and boom and our camera is working from the last video store. So um, I'm going to end this now. And in the next series, I'm, or next video, I'm going to go over on some of the advanced things you can do. How you can rip this thing apart and do your own stuff. Along with how to make the new game do something. Uh, you can leave it, like we've already went over how to make it run, like, open a new map directly. But in Kismet, it's really easy. Just add an FS command called new game and have it do whatever you want. But we'll go over that anyway. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video. And that's not how you stop the video.